Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is NG, and this YouTube channel basically talks about everything that has to do it. Facebook ads, Instagram ads, we talk about marketing and how you can use platforms like Facebook and Instagram to generate lots and lots of sales and also grow your visibility for your brand. If you're just joining this YouTube channel, thank you so much. And sure that you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and also give me a thumbs up so that a lot of people can see this video. And if you are an existing subscriber, Thank you so much for coming time and time again to watch my videos. I do appreciate it. Now, this video is very simple. I'm going to be showing you exactly how to run a sales campaign in 2024. Now, let me tell you clearly that sales campaigns are different from how you used to be, right? Before now, sales campaigns are very easy. Just, you know, boost your post and then pow, you start getting sales. People start making, you know, start reaching out to you. But right now, it's a lot different. It's tougher and, I mean... I had to create this video so that you understand clearly how to create campaigns that are made journey for sales. I understand that sales campaigns are different from engagement campaigns, right? Now, that is not to say that engagement campaigns do not help you make sales. I mean, I've seen some of my students who have run engagement campaigns and it made sales. In fact, we have a student that um, sells properties. She actually ran an engagement campaign and she was able to sell a property worth about 10 million naira. Right now, that is using an engagement campaign. So it is absolutely possible to run engagement campaigns and make sales. But the focus of this video is how to actually run sales campaigns that are intended for your brand to make sales. Now I'm going to break this video down into some of the important things that you need to first of all ensure you have done before you go ahead and make that video. So please pay attention to this part of the video. It's very important. Don't skip it. It's very important. Now. First thing that you need to understand or the first thing that you need to have ready is your offer. Now, I see a lot of people making the mistake of not having an offer and they explain that they want to make sales from their ad. When you say you're doing a sales ad, there has to be an offer that people are actually taking, right? So what is the offer that you're prepared regardless of the different, I mean, type of business that you do? What exactly is the offer? What are you putting together? What are people buying? What package are they buying, right? Do you have a promo going on? Is there some incentive that you've added? What exactly is the offer? Understand that the offer is what people actually take. That is why they come. When they see your ad, the offer is what gets them attracted, right? Because the offer seems too good to be true. The offer seems very interesting. The offer seems beneficial to them. So that way they are able to take your offer. So it's important to understand that you have the offer. Now, this video is not about offers, so I'm not going to be going too detailed into how exactly you should put the offer and all that. I'm not going to detail into that. But the other important thing is also the content, right? You understand that the content is what actually prompts people. The content is what makes them, what makes an audience go from being cold to warm. The content, because they see the content, they fall in love with the products, or they fall in love with the service and they want it. So it's important for you to put work into the content. Now, just quickly, what are the contents that can work? Number one, BTS. What is BTS? Behind the scenes. So create behind the scene content for your brand, for your product. Let people see exactly what goes on behind the scene and how you come about the product, how you come about the service. That way they fall in love and they want to be part of it. That's number one. Number two type of content you can do is UGC. User generated content. Somebody uses your product, they love it, they're interested in it, they want to buy it. It's that simple. So it's not you selling the product, it's somebody sharing their experience after they have used the product or used the service. That way, they have something that they feel like, no, this person, I need to take this, I need to use this product. So for me, especially when it is somebody that is influential, right? So you can also use influencers to create user generated content. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Now, these two contents are the major contents that will work for any sales campaign. Now, there are other content types that I might not be able to go into because I want to keep this video as short as possible. So, work with these two major content that I've mentioned and you'll get good results. I'm telling you, excellent results will come from it, alright? That is that. Now, let's get into how to run the type of campaign that we want to run. Let's get into how to run that type of campaign, okay? So, let's get into how to run the type of campaign that is going to work for your sales. So if you're running sales ads, the type of campaign that would actually work for you, let's get into how to do that. All right, I'm sure you can see my screen already. Um, now, this is the ads manager. So what we're going to do is to go on the ads manager. I'm going to click on the create button and then we kickstart from there. Now, understand that 
because we are running a sales campaign, there are certain objectives that work for sales campaigns. You cannot just use any type of objective for a sales campaign. There are certain objectives that makes your sales campaign work best. What are the objectives? Number one is the engagement objective. Now, don't worry, I said it's engagement. It does not mean that it's only just about engagement. The engagement objective works well for you when you're running sales. Number two is the sales objective. So these two campaigns are what we're going to be using. Now, I'll show you one of these campaigns. The others, I mean, the second one is the same thing, right? So don't stress yourself, okay? So let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going to be using for this example, the engagement campaign, right? So I'm going to click on the engagement campaign. Remember, we're running a sales campaign. So please follow me carefully, pay attention carefully, okay? So I'm going to use the engagement objective and then I'll click on continue, right? Now, when I click on continue, the next thing I'm going to be seeing is manual setup or the um, tailored. Now, I always advise you to use the manual setup. That allows you to set up your campaign by yourself and do everything from scratch. So, manual engagement campaign and then click continue, right? Now, once you click continue, we are taking to the ad property, setting up the ad proper, okay? Now, there are three levels to setting up the ad. The FB campaign level, the ad set level, and the ads level. So, three levels. So, now we are first on the campaign level. Follow me closely, okay? Now, on the campaign level, basically everything I'm going to do is just to set the campaign name. Let's just call it um, a, let's just call it um, test campaign, test, test for fashion, okay? Fashion business, okay? So let's call it test for fashion business. Now, once we are done with setting up the name, that's all we need to do. All we have to do is to click next, just at the bottom uh, right of your screen. Click left, uh, next rather. Now, once you click next, we are now in the ad set level where we're setting up some other things. Now, on the ad set level, when we scroll down, we go to conversion. Conversion basically simply means where exactly are you trying to generate this engagement? Where are you trying to drive the engagement? Now, understand that we're not actually driving engagement. We want sales. But you need to understand that for you to be able to generate sales for any product or any service using this engagement ad, you need to... Uh, run ads that will generate conversions or conversations rather. You need to run ads that will generate conversations, meaning that people need to send you messages. They need to speak with you, talk to you via DM, right? So that's what we're trying to do. So we are running an Instagram DM advert. So all I have to do is to click on, instead of using on your ad, when you see it here, I'm going to change it to messaging apps. So when I change it to messaging apps, that means that I'm running an engagement ad that is going to get people to message me. People who are interested in my product and my service. Okay, are you following me? Now, let's move on. Once I use the messaging apps, once we turn into messaging apps, the next thing we're going to do is come to where it says ad type. The ad type should be click to message, right? The ad type should be click to message. So once the ad type is click to message, don't change that. The Facebook page, of course, should be your page. So let's say I'm doing this for a fashion brand. Um, let me see if I have some one here that we can use. Um, let's say this fashion brand, okay? Let's say this fashion brand, okay? Now, I'm sending people to... Now, messaging apps. Under messaging apps, you need to select where you're going to be sending people to. So where exactly are they messaging you? WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Instagram. Most of the time, let me explain carefully. Most of the time, I advise people to use Instagram. You can use WhatsApp also if you want to, but do not use the same platform. Do not use two platforms on this ad, just one platform. So we're going to be using just only Instagram for this plat for this ad right now. So I'm going to change this, turn off the WhatsApp. I'm going to use just Instagram, right? Follow me carefully. So once we use Instagram, the next thing we're going to do is scroll down. Right, we selected Instagram. The performance goal is maximize number of conversations. Follow me carefully. Now, budget and schedule. Now, when you run ads that are meant for sales, let me say this right now: they are not cheap ads. They are ads that we spend. You will spend nothing less than ten thousand naira day, regardless of the business that you do. Except if you are a low ticket, your product is low ticket, and your service is low ticket. Any product, any I mean service that or product that is below thirty thousand naira or twenty thousand naira, right? But right now, if your products are, are around 50,000 or 30,000 and above, you have to spend nothing less than 10,000 there. So 
um, 10,000 a day is the budget we're going to be using for this. Once we have done this, we're going to also um, schedule when is our advert going to start, when is it going to end, right? Now, typically, I would advise that your advert run between 10 to 15 days at least. Sales advert between 10 to 15 days because you want to be able to give the advert time to be able to give you the result that you want. So I'm going to do this for the next 15, let's say the next 15 days, okay? So um, let's say this is 10 days and then an extra five days. Let's say 20 seconds, okay? So that's my 15 days, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to come to is the audience control. Now, I'm, going to, I'm not going to delve deep into this because I have a lot of videos that I've talked about targeting. And if you would need me to make a separate video about targeting and the different targeting options, please leave a comment and I'm going to be making that video uh, if you want that video as well. But I'm not going to be focusing on targeting right now. So basically, I'm just going to edit the location and then use a location like Lagos. So let's say I want to run this ad to just people in Lagos and Abuja. So I'm going to run this ad to Lagos and Abuja right now. Okay, Lagos and Abuja. Right, so I've done that. Now, I'm going to scroll down and then come to, now I'm leaving the audience because I said I'm going to be working, I'll be talking about that later. Now, the placement by default, the placement is the platform where the advert is going to be seen by people. Now, that placement is by default, since we're sending people to Instagram DM, by default that placement will be Instagram. So you don't need to bother yourselves about that. So click next. Right? I hope you're following me carefully. If you're, if you're following me this far and you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please and please, I'm begging you, go ahead and subscribe right now. All right? So let's continue. Now, we are in the final level of our ad. All we're doing in this final level is to just use a particular post for our advert or upload the video that we're going to be using for our advert. Now, for content, I would advise that you use strictly videos. Videos perform a lot better. In fact, 10 times better than flyers or any other type of content. Videos perform better. So what I'm going to do is to use a video that is already on my page. Now, that is best because, I mean, that allows you to see exactly all the engagement. You'll see, an, I mean, it helps you also save the data so that when you're done with this ad, say one month, two months later, you can still see the engagement, everything that happened. You can still do some level of retargeting if you want to. But we're going to be using a post that is already on our Instagram page. How do you do that? Come to Ad Setup and then click on Use Existing Post. Instead of Create Ad, Use Existing Post. So once you do that, the next thing you want to do is click on Select Post. And then it will open a portal where you can select your post from either Facebook or Instagram. We're going to be selecting a post from Instagram right now. So I'm going to select um, a post right here. Just select any post for this. And then I click Continue. Once I have selected my post, now the next thing you need to understand is I should see the preview of my advert. Once it is downloaded, I should see the preview of my advert. So let's wait for the preview of our advert. While you're waiting for the preview of, of your advert, now we have just created um, some, I mean, some different levels of subscription. If you want to be part of my close, you know, my close team or my close, should I call it team now? My close people, right? We've opened some level of subscription that you can pay. All right, so our video is done. And then now you can see exactly how the preview of the video looks like, what our video is going to look like eventually. So this is how, I mean, the ad looks like, you can see the preview already. And then you can go ahead to publish your ad. Now, do you understand that with the way this ad, I mean, you can actually start getting results from this, even without using any targeting, because you've already specified location, and you can specify things like age range and all that and gender. So. Um, I hope you've learned something. This is how I run sales adverts for my clients and they usually will get results. Try it for yourself and I hope you get results. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys in another video.